Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 reading, monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Sagittarius and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Sagittarius please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you message for our lovely Sagittarians please okay oh wow so I've got the world which can be a card of completion it's also a card of success let's see what else we get Sagittarius message for Sagittarius please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Sagittarians thank you what does Sagittarius need to hear? We've got communicate clearly. Now, when that card appears, it sometimes can be external communication. It can also be about listening clearly to your own internal wisdom, knowledge, communication. What you feel is right. So that might resonate for some of you. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that, Sagittarius. The messages may well overlap. Some of you are also at different life stages, but the message remains the same. Then we will clarify, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. OK, so message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides, April 2021. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. OK, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, the Death card, card of Scorpio, and the Five of Wands. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius, please. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Message for Sagittarius, thank you. <clears throat> too many, too many, too many. Message for Sagittarius, thank you. Just one card, please. Message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Two of Swords. King of Cups. Scorpio again. Two cards of Scorpio now. With the Page of Pentacles. Ace of Swords with the Death card. And we have the Four of Wands with the Five of Wands, bottom of the deck, card of Leo, strength card. Okay. There is definitely an energy here I have two cards of endings here the death card the world card I mean the world card is an ending ending of a major cycle something coming to a close where there's definitely some kind of energy here Sagittarius you don't go back when the world card appears it's a cycle that has completed and there's a line that's drawn you don't go back so uh, let's clarify this world. Let's clarify this world. But it's a card of accomplishment, success, achievement, ready to step through to the next phase of your life, having completed a major cycle. 
So there is a real kind of empowering energy with that world card. So I have the Four of Swords, which can be a card of it can be a card of reflection, deep thought, or it can be a card of recovery as well. feels in this energy Sagittarius that there is some kind of major completion happening for you in April and the Four of Swords is a card of seeing the way forward getting your head around a situation I mean I also feel that there's some kind of recovery associated with this Endings and beginnings. There is something that you're thinking about here, something that you've given deep thought to. It feels like there is some kind of major completion happening here. I'm going to pull one more. Let's pull one more. A new beginnings. Hmm. It can be financial recovery, you know, the Ace of Coins can be financial recovery, the, the beginnings of abundance um, can be in the form of an offer, an opportunity in money, career, finances. So, I mean, this is a great energy. And it marks a new beginning for you. It marks a new beginning here, Sagittarius. So again, this world card, I mean, I've got definitely got some kind of endings and beginnings, but there's definitely an energy of the success, the victory, can even be goal achievement here that is bringing in some kind of recovery. There will be a need to communicate clearly here. It feels like this is something that you're giving deep thought to. <laughs> um, giving deep thought to. And why are you giving deep thought to it? Well, I feel it's not because it's ju not just you. It feels like it's going to bring change for you, your home, your family. And that's why there is some deep thought being given here. Because I've got the deep thought here again, the Two of Swords, and there's the offer, the opportunity here, and it's coming straight off beginning of April you know so this Knight of Pentacles is an energy of an offer or an opportunity money career finances clients new clients new business uh, contracts call it what you will but it's something that you're weighing up you're weighing up you're giving some deep thought consideration to you haven't made your mind up, even though secretly it feels for some of you, you really want to go for this. You really want to give it a go. Deep, deep, deep down, this is something that you desire. I'm definitely getting this kind of energy, Sagittarius. You really want to go for it. You really want to give it a go. You're curious about it. You see the possibility in it. You see the possibility of this opportunity. Um, giving you the opportunity to plant new seeds for real growth, real success long term. Um, there could be also a message to, to do with an opportunity from a Scorpio, maybe. Or it could be from a King of Cups, you know. Somebody who is um, compassionate, very popular understands the people who work they're a leader uh, male or female energy somebody who understands the people who work with them compassionate and um, driven caring good listener uh, very intuitive very successful person so it definitely feels for some of you Sagittarius that you might be either meeting somebody who is talking to you about this opportunity the page is the night is the change the page is the beginnings of change the beginnings of something new 
and I definitely feel, I mean, they're messengers, the pages. So I'm definitely getting some kind of offer. And again, some kind of message to do with the offer. I mean, there may be one or two conversations. And, and again, it feels like you're just trying to weigh things up. But deep down, you want to go for it. I'm definitely getting this energy deep, deep down. It feels like this is something that you really want to go for. Because what this will allow you to do is... Yeah, I mean, the death card is a card of... It can be a card of endings and it can, it feels like they, it marks the ending of one cycle and the beginning of another. So in some, in some sense, there's also an energy here, Sagittarius, that it, it will allow you to shine. The, this is an energy of it will allow you to open a new door and emerge in your true colours. It feels like this opportunity is bringing huge change. And that might well be, and it might even be bringing some kind of recovery here, maybe financial recovery, but it feels for some of you, I mean, the Ace of Swords is the victory. So it, it definitely feels for some of you, you're making your mind up in, in, in bringing something to a close now and out with the old in with the new. I definitely feel this energy of secretly you want to go for this, but, and again, the, the Ace of Swords is a card of mental clarity. It's a card of epiphanies. It's a card of victory. It's the beginnings of success. Um, but it feels for some of you, this will allow you to emerge in your true light, whatever this opportunity is. And it feels like it's too good to miss. So what it's doing here, Sagittarius, it's causing tension in the home. Now this can also be something that you've been competing for. There is celebration here, but it feels in this situation there is some kind of tension in the home. I feel there's tension in the home. I'm definitely getting this energy quite strongly there. It's causing some rift or tension in the home. I mean, this is petty squabbles, not being on the same page, not seeing things eye to eye. And I'm definitely getting that to do with your relationship, your home, your family, because I feel this relationship needs the deep consideration because it's bringing deep change. I mean, the world car can be also to do with travel. But there's definitely an energy of you will be able to overcome the disagreement through persuasion, through gentle persuasion. So I don't see this as facing fears, facing demons, facing overcoming challenge. I see this more as persuasion, as persuading somebody who is not on the same page as you to go for something, because it definitely feels like you're, you've been weighing something up it means change, deep change. The death card is, is deep change. Let's remember, you know, this is the, the, the metamorphosis card. So there is deep change, chrysalis to butterfly energy. Um, and it definitely feels for some of you, there is some kind of, you're ready to make the deep change. You're ready to say, I'm ready for the transformation. I'm prepared to make that transition from out with the old, in with the new to go for this kind of opportunity because I have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the offer, the opportunity, something that you really want to go for. There is definitely an energy of some kind of hidden desire here, but you're just not quite sure how it's going to affect your home, your family relationship. And there is some tension here, but there's definitely an energy of gentle persuasion. They will come around to your point of view. And that's the communicate clearly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, for me, it feels really exciting for you. Something that will allow you to shine in your true colours is absolutely beautiful. Um, it feels like there's an opportunity that's too good to miss. But it does mean making some big changes in your life. But it feels like you're ready to go for this transition. Exciting energy, Sagittarius. Okay, and any... 
any tensions will be, I definitely feel that they will be overcome by gentle persuasion. So don't let this heated, don't let things get heated. This is just that gentle persuasion in order to bring somebody around to your point of view, which I do think they will. Okay, final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius. do a couple more shuffles if it doesn't fall out. I do like them to fall out at the beginning of the shuffles. Thank you. <laughs> oh you see, you see, snake shedding an old skin, phoenix rising. I mean it's transformational energy. It is, it is very similar to this, out with the old, in with the new. I'm ready for change. Um, and again this energy of shining in your true colours again, it feels very beautiful. We have Snake, Kundalini Rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation, yes. Love the energy there. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.